Since the very first human stepped on the moon, the curiosity to take on more deep space endeavors has been ever since increasing. And to feed this curiosity, NASA has been involved in so many projects, all aimed at making space more accessible for humans. But there is this one project that NASA is struggling with, and till now, it has been a total disaster. Today we are going to discuss the Space Launch System, or SLS, project of NASA, which was initiated a very long time ago. But for some reason, things aren't really working out. What this project is all about, and why it has been such a failure, let's discuss it. The SLS project was announced by US President George W. Bush back in 2004. The project was supposed to replace the Space Shuttle project, and NASA had taken the charge to build a heavy rocket that would propel a crewed capsule into space. The plan was to make space travel accessible and build a machine that would take the astronauts for lunar visits, though it was just for the initial phases. Once it had successfully conducted trips to the moon, the plan was to send the crew to Mars as well. The problem is all that dream seems very far-sighted today, with the new rocket idling at NASA's launch pad. Reason being that the project that was initiated over 18 years ago has not achieved any success. Every time it's supposed to launch, a random problem occurs and the launch is delayed. The very first date of the SLS space rocket's launch announced by NASA was back in 2016, then in 2017, 18, 19 and so on. But now that we are just about to enter 2023 and still the rocket is standing silently in the Kennedy Space Center 39B launch pad, which says a lot about the success of this project. So what exactly is wrong with this project? To put it simply, everything. You might think I'm joking, but this project that has cost billions of dollars is a huge mess up. Sometimes it's a sensor and other times it's a leak in the fuel tank that stops it from launching. During a recent launch, the very first problem that occurred with the rockets was when one of the sensors falsely indicated a problem with one engine. The launch sequence was halted just to know that it was a faulty signal and that nothing had actually happened to the engine. Why did that happen? No one knows. The second problem came up when a leak was discovered in the hydrogen tank of the rocket due to which the rocket couldn't be fueled properly. These are the problems due to which the recent launch events had to be stopped. But previously, problems such as the capsule software not being ready to problems with the fitting of engines taking months. It seemed like NASA didn't have any control over the project. First, everyone ignored considering the fact that space missions are difficult and to make sure that nothing goes wrong during or after the launch, it's better to take precautionary measures and delay the launch. But after a while, the project was becoming questionable, especially when you consider that it cost around $23 billion to just build it, and an extra $4.1 billion are needed per launch. And that doesn't include the billion dollars spent to build a whole new mobile launch pad to get this rocket into space. Such hefty costs and delays in projects wouldn't have been such a problem if better models were present in the world. But as we know, NASA doesn't hold that leverage today. With many new private space agencies making huge successes in the realm of space, NASA is losing its credibility with the SLS project. I mean, when you have SpaceX's Falcon and especially the Starship that Elon has already announced, the SLS project seems like an utter failure. The problem isn't just that SpaceX has already started conducting flights to space, carrying both crew and payloads, but the rockets that it has been able to come up with are much superior to NASA's. SpaceX has truly revolutionized the space industry by presenting the world with reusable rockets. As we know, the biggest cost in building a rocket comes from its materials, and when you consider the fact that a rocket becomes redundant after just one mission, this becomes even more concerning, as it means that for every new mission, NASA needs to develop a new rocket. Even a layman can understand how expensive that endeavor is. And this time again, instead of using the new technology for their SLS rockets that could make them reusable, NASA took the old approach, which means that once the SLS rocket is done with its mission, it will become redundant. 
Compare that to Elon's new Starship rocket and shuttle combo, which hasn't been subjected to orbital launches. Yet its successful launch and landing sequences present a bright future. Plus, once it gets rolling, by the time NASA will be able to launch their second SLS rocket, Starship will be done with over two dozen flights. Yes, that's how advanced SpaceX is. So needless to say, NASA lags in technology when compared with its private sector counterparts. There is no doubt that SLS is a beast of a machine, and even with all its shortcomings, it could prove beneficial for space exploration. The only issue is, when will it even be able to do that? Because from the looks of it, NASA doesn't have the plan to execute this mission anytime soon. Even now, in 2022, it was supposed to take its flight in August when the sensor problem came up. Then in September, when NASA confirmed the launch, the fuel tank got a leak. And then NASA announced the new date of launch, which was in October 2022. But we have just entered the second last month of the year, and the rocket to date stands still on its launch pad. With all these problems, the SLS project already becomes a failure. But NASA is adamant to move on with it. As for them, it's not a matter of money, as it is for the private sector. The money will keep flowing from taxpayers, so NASA can stick to its project. Honestly, at this point, I hope that somehow NASA gets it all right, and we see the massive launch, because it's of no good to anyone if this project is shut off. What will be the future of NASA and its SLS project? No one can say for sure. So let's leave that for time to tell. And on that note, I'd like to end this video here. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.